Let's get started with the multiple scatter plots. For multiple scatter plots, all you need is two basic libraries. So first of all, let's create a file that is for multi, multi dimensional thing. So I'll just mention over here as multi dimensional dot py. And here I'll import the necessary libraries starting with the first library that is numpy for the numeric expression as np and the next is matplotlib for plotting the necessary charts that is matplotlib dot py plot this is the alternative way of declaring py plot as plt so our first thing i'm going to do is to create a random data say i have three kind of users one user is like you drinking coffee the other one is the one who is used to drink tea and the other one, the third set is the one who take the normal, they are like say for normal people who opt for only water. So let's create a random data and these three sets of people will be represented in my scattered plots that is the multidimensional plot where each and every color will be given like for the people who drink coffee will get give they will get the color of red and for the people who drink tea they will be denoted with the color of green and for water will be blue so let's start creating the data so this is create data starting with n equals 60 and g1 equals value as 0 0.6 plus 0 0.6 into np dot random dot rand data that is n and after that we have the next value to be represented which is np dot random dot ran so it's like getting the random values of n values so that is n is like the total scattered plot should sum up to 60 points the next is g2 here the calculation is slightly different it will take a value in this way that is g2 equals 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 so it will take say for example 30 percent of the random data np dot random dot ran of n and the next point is taking 0.5% so this is for getting plot of the y-axis np dot random dot ran and this will be plotted over here so g2 is for the people who drink t g1 is for the people it's for the number of count who drink coffee and after that comes g3 which equals the value as 0 0.3 here it will be represented as 0 0.3 into np dot random dot ran value of n and the next value will be 0 0.3 into np dot random dot ran value of n now these data will be collected together in the variable data with g1 g2 and g3 values and after that the colors will be plotted over here that is colors with values of red and green then comes the next color to be set which is blue and after that the next is to get the groups which equals value which is coffee and then comes the next set to be depicted is for the people who drink tea and afterwards is water. So after this let's create the plot. So creating a plot is being done over here in this section starting with the figure figure which is represented over here equals plt dot figure 
and the value will be taken here inside a variable ax which plots for the plot value of x axis which is figure dot add underscore subplot with the plot values 1 comma 1 comma 1 axis bg is represented over here and after that comes the next value which is to plot the colors which is for data color and then comes this group in the parameter which is like zip. Zip is used to accumulate all these data under one roof when it comes to Python. So zip takes all these parameters of data, colors and groups. So it is taken over here and here I'll represent x comma y equals data and then comes the next parameter is to scatter these values so ax dot scatter x comma y that is representing x and y axis and alpha equals 0 0.8 this is to get the slope parameter c will be nothing but the color which is needed the color parameters is given over here and the edge groups with the edge colors equals none and the parameter again which is needed for the indentation with the deviation basically s as 30 and label equals the label which is mentioned in the group parameter so this part is done now after this we need to plot it so let's plot it with the title plt dot title as mat plot or we can say multi plot multi scatter plot that will be better to mention multi scatter plot and after that we will set up the legend value with the location in which axis which point is the legend to be mentioned and that is 2 as per the values and the next is to show this particular thing that is plt.show so this part has been done now after this we will plot this is basically for getting the multiple scatter plots so let's go to the command prompt and analyze what is the output which we are getting let's run the program multi dimensional.py so here you can see the scatter plots with the red one representing coffee green one tea and the blue one is water in this way various data are scattered together and it has been plotted so this kind of plotting is very important when it comes to again study of earthquake seismology and even weather prediction when it comes to metrological department to plot the particular geographical area they can use this kind of some particular demo analysis to show it in their research papers so this was the basic example for multi-dimensional the next chapter is about the basic thing which is the bubble chart which is another even more better description of the scattered plot so let's have a look in our next chapter